So now that the FBI investigation into Brett Kavanaugh is over uh, and a vote is being planned, um, several Republican senators have finally weighed in on whether or not they uh, may vote for the confirmation of Kavanaugh. Uh, now, despite admitting to CNN that she has not read the full report yet, Senator Suzanne Collins, who was a potential swing vote in the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh, uh, basically said, I believe that this was a very thorough investigation. Now, to give you some context about that and why I think that she's absolutely wrong, um, the investigation itself was very limited, less than a week. They were promised a week. They did less than a week. Uh, originally, the White House said, you can only talk to these four people, and then they expanded it to 10. There were 40 witnesses, 40 people willing to offer their testimony, many of them writing to the New Yorker, writing to the senators and the Judiciary Committee to say, I have a story to share. I know Brett Kavanaugh, right? I know, and I have something to say about these allegations. The FBI did not talk to them. Uh, so there's no universe in which this is a very thorough investigation where that can be considered very thorough. It is absolutely not thorough. It is a sham investigation. But nonetheless, Suzanne Collins, well, that was enough to sway her. Great. Now uh, let's go to Jeff Flake, right? So Jeff Flake, I mean, he's out there making speeches. He's out there denouncing Trump for... Uh, making fun of Blasey Ford. Uh, so a lot of people in the so-called resistance, right? We're looking at him as, oh, Jeff Flake. You're going to be objective, right? You're, you're going to see this for what it is. No, I kept saying over and over again, Jeff Flake has no spine. He says pretty words and then votes with Republicans on whatever they want. Because look, this, th this judge is a gift to the donors. They spend millions of dollars, special interest groups, corporations, super PACs, have sent millions of dollars supporting Brett Kavanaugh. Why? It's because he's incredibly pro-corporate. That's why they want him on. You, look, if you're a Republican and all you care about is, I want to give my donors more and more money so that when I'm done with Congress, I can go work for those same donors. Well, then that's this was what you're going to do. This is a no-brainer. And so for Jeff Flake, oh, he speaks about civility and he speaks about getting along and bipartisanship and hanging out with Chris fucking Coons. But at the end of the day, he's voting in favor. In fact, here's what he said about the FBI investigation. Quote, I think Suzanne Collins was quoted saying that it was very thorough. But no new corroborative information came out of it. That's accurate. I wanted this pause. We've had this pause. We have the professionals, the FBI determined, given the scope that we gave them. Those, that's very important. Current credible allegations to go and do their review, which they've done. Thus far, we've seen no new credible corroboration, no new corroboration at all. I wanted to point out that he said, given the scope that we gave them, let's talk about that scope, that scope that's incredibly limited, 10 people, less than a week. You call that an investigation. There are 40 people who all claim that they had corroborating evidence. They didn't talk to him. They didn't talk to him. They went and talked to Ramirez and she said, look, I got people that can back this up. Go talk to them. I have names. They didn't do it. They didn't follow up. They decided... We're not going to do that. Doesn't matter. We don't care. We were limited by the White House to not look into this so that the White House and Republicans would get their preferred result. That they can go out in front of the media and say, look, we didn't find anything. We had the investigation. We, we did everything the Democrats want. Now, the Democrats must be now moving the goalpost because they said it's incomplete. Feinstein and Schumer came out and said, well, I, we believe that this is incomplete. Grow a fucking spine and tell, and tell the truth. This is a sham investigation, an absolute sham of an investigation that they ended up getting the exact result that they wanted. Anybody who has any faith in the FBI 
shouldn't, especially when it comes to political investigations. They're deeply Republican. I wonder, I wonder if the very same Republican MAGA people who are like, no evidence of Russian, uh, it, you know, uh, 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 meddling or interference or anything like that, uh, it's the FBI. I can't believe the FBI. I wonder how they're going to feel now that the FBI has sided in favor of Kavanaugh. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> no, you don't have to wonder. You already know the story. Look, uh, Josh Marshall, I, I want to give you a quote here from him. Um, he said that the FBI probe constrained from the start by Republicans in the Senate uh, and the White House was nothing more than an orchestrated whitewash. I, I Look, there's some things that I don't agree, uh, agree with Josh Marshall on like when he talks progressive politics. But on this, he says, quote, all, uh, all they wanted to do is to give cover to Republicans like Flake, Collins, and Murkowski so that the Republicans could end up getting Brett Kavanaugh put on the Supreme Court for the next three to four decades. He said, basically, quote, the fix is in, folks. The fix is in. And on that, he is absolutely 100% correct. It has been in from the beginning. As I said before, they will put him on the Supreme Court because that's what the corporations, that's what the donors want. And it's also, that's what Trump's vile base has wanted as well. It's going to happen. So, as I said before, this is the new normal. This is the way that Republicans want to play it. Well, all right, then Q can play that game. And uh, for everybody who's really, really upset today, embrace the suck because uh, it's here to stay. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.